So uh, now we're going to move forward. And we've seen handle func. And uh, well, we just saw this. Let's look at what we just saw. We just saw this. We have handle func. And that's the main way that we want to do stuff. And so here's handle func, right, in our code base. And so handle func, you know, D and C, D and C, and it's response writer and a pointer to a request. And um, yeah, so we got that. And, uh, and then there's a handler func, HP handler func, and response writer pointer to a request. What's the difference between the previous one? So we used handle func, and here this is using handle func, pointer, uh, response writer and pointer to request, response writer, pointer to request. Oh, so we could use HTTP handle, and then here, handler func will take this function and turn it into a handler. So that's what handler func does. It's a wrapper. So it's just a convenience function if you ever for whatever reason, one use it's like not even worth mentioning. So um, you know, I don't want to confuse you. The main thing is HTTP handle func, and then we create those functions. That's what we just did. And then here's just like there's just some interesting code, right? So you know, here we've been using listen and serve nil, and so it's just kind of like showing some of what you could do. And here we have it, listen and serve mux, and we've imported. Uh, GitHub Julian Schmidt HTTP router and so we do HTTP router new and we get a mux and then so you could get third-party routers that kind of have different functionality and Julian Schmidt's HTTP router is um, one that's was popular I haven't really communicated with other people about this in a year or two so I'm not quite sure if it's still popular, but it used to be pretty popular, so you could create your own, and then instead of using default serve mux, you're using this other serve mux with different functionality. So one of the things is you could check right here, is it a git or a post? And so that could make your coding a little bit more convenient. So that's just kind of nice to know about. And again, not, not, not anything that we need to explore in depth. This is the main thing right here, what you just coded. What we've been learning, and uh, and then we have some hands-on uh, activities here. So there's a lot of hands-on uh, exercises with solutions, and uh, the README files here point them out. So listen and serve on port 8080 using default serve mux, and uh, use handle func to add the following routes to the default serve mux. I like each of those, right? Add a func for each of the routes. Have the forward slash me route print out your name. And when you have this trailing Z, this is important. When you have this trailing slash, who remembers what that means on a route, as opposed to this? What's adding that do? So here, if I add that right to about, what's that do? So without it, I will only serve a, a, ABO when it's forward slash about. But with that, I will serve ABO when it's forward slash about, forward slash anything else, right? So anything else down that route will match ABO with the forward slash unless there's a more specific route match. So if I had about foo and this was foo, right? This was like the foo thing. Then about foo is going to match that, but about fool will match this. That, that will catch fool because it has that forward slash. So that's what that forward slash does. You have that forward slash. And then here's another hands-on. Take the previous program and change it so a template is parsed and served. You pass data into the template. So we know how to parse stuff. And then this one, parse templates. Take the previous program and change it so that funk, funk main uses HP handle instead of handle funk. Do not change anything outside of funk main. So this is probably going to use the handler funk wrapper. And uh, yeah, here we have handler funk. So just kind of an interesting thing to know. Not necessary to labor on belabor that one. And create a basic server using TCP. 
So this is like a pretty involved hands-on one. And let's see what these are. Uh, add code to respond to the following methods and routes. So that's like, I think this is building up our own server. Yeah, so we're not going to worry about that because that's pretty, a little bit more esoteric. So this is, again, the main thing we're focusing on here, just to keep our focus. But I'm just kind of walking through our code base here so you understand everything. And then the next thing we're going to look at is serving files, and we'll do that in the next video. And that's uh, serving files and not found handler. Um, those are like probably the main things we'll look at tonight. And uh, App Engine Deploy, we might take a quick gander at deploying code. I haven't I looked at that code in a year, so I'm not sure if it's still valid. But, you know, depending upon how we're all feeling, we might go for that. So next we'll look at serving files.